What's up, guys? Welcome back. So Telltale has officially released episode two of The Expanse. Coming from someone who's never actually seen the original TV show, The Expanse, I really enjoyed episode one of Telltale's format of storytelling. I mean, we've got space pirates. We've got conflict within the crew via betrayal. And of course, that's always going to be there. If not, it wouldn't be a Telltale game. And so I'm really excited for this episode. Welcome to episode two. We are wasting absolutely no more time. Let's do this. Please, Kamina, don't do this. Take him to the brig. How long until the pirates are back in range? Hour, maybe two, depending on burn. Same as last time. The time before that? And the tin time before that. How are you doing? I'm not the one we need to worry about. Her body can't heal under this burn. Even Khan needs to rest sometime. You'll figure something out. I know you will. Motherfuckers! Shouldn't be possible! ETA, eight minutes! They must have increased their burn this time. Uh, <sighs> don't these Pashangwalas rest? Humans rest. Pirates? Are fucking animals. We need to do something about your arm. Um, Virgil has the med bay prepped and ready. It's fine. Hardly hurts anymore. We're outgunned and nearly out of fuel. Unless we come up with a plan to shake them soon, infection's gonna be the least of my problems. She is tough. I'll give her that. Hmm. What should we do? What would Cox do? What do you think we should do? What do I think we should do? Besides find ourselves a captain who knows how to make decisions? I was asking your opinion. My opinion is that there is no good option. Whatever you choose will be wrong. And it's your fucking job to choose, Captain. All right, well. Coordinates, 8214. What are we looking at? Fuck if I know. It's a ship's graveyard. Debris field. Caught in orbit around that body. There's nothing registered there. How do you know? Hmm. Back when I was MCRN, there were reports of a proxy battle right around here with UNN forces. Never confirmed, but seemed legit. Or much more likely, it's some solar backscatter, radiation cluttering, or... Any other fucking thing? She looks a little nervous if you look at her. How large was this battle? Large enough for a pissant ensign like me to hear about it. I'd guess nearly a dozen ships. New plan. We run for cover in there. Won't work, boss man. If we, if we break their lock, they'll be able to track our drive plume. There won't be a drive plume. We burn hard for here first, then cut engine and turn into orbit. Let it carry us around until we land in the debris. Slingshot, fuck yes! Just... Could work, if there is actually something there. Stations! Con, 
On my word, loose a PDC volley, then turn and burn. episode but Six I never really got to see them. Turning now in the debris field. <laughs> you did it, boss man! Fucking legend! Quiet! Yeah, I don't think it's over. Yo, there's a lot of tension. Oh, God. There they are. You're just gonna pass by? There's a lot of tension in this... in this episode, and it's, it's just begun. They're hyping these pirates up a lot. I'm expecting them to we be don't dangerous. Have much time. The pirates are searching for us, and we can't run again without more fuel and reaction mass. Arlen? Lorotna and I will head out and start scanning. Hmm. Captain, I'm prepped for surgery as soon as Khan is ready. <sighs> Tell that waste of oxygen I wouldn't be needing surgery if he didn't freak out the first time. I'm still here. He's all we have. He'll be fine. Virgil won't let you down. The prosthetic is ready. Is Ooh. the uh, patient? Fine. But you're staying to make sure Dr. Dipshit doesn't cut off the wrong arm. <sighs> well, Grandma over here cusses every like five words for every sentence. <laughs> She's a different breed. Ship's graveyard. Cap. Scanners aren't picking up any signs of fuel. Keep looking. Meantime, I'll go for the reaction mass. Alright, so search the Belter ship for reaction mass. So we are back in business. So cool. What a mess. What got Earth and Mars so worked up? And what's the Belta shit doing in the middle of it? Who knows? Hopefully they all got some reaction mass on board though. I gotta see if I remember the uh the controls. 
All right, there's something over there. As you know, these episodes release every two weeks. And I'm not even gonna lie, I forgot how to ascend and, and how to actually descend and stuff. All right, so this is to turn. And, uh, man, what the hell was the, uh, hold up. There we go. Okay. I have to aim at the ground and, all right. This door is probably going to be locked. Damn. The blast doors to the Laguin are locked down. Not sure if there's a way to open them. Always a way through. If you got enough explosives. Go check out the other ships. I'll see what I can rig up. You want to use explosives to blast through a blast door. <laughs> Guess that could work. All right, so let's go find some explosives, shall we? Can't even tell which ship is which. It's all blasted to Falota. There's definitely more scrap here than a few ships can account for. Maya was right. This was a full on proxy battle. With a Belta ship at the center. Okay, right trigger just engages basically everything. I guess to ascend, we'll just have to look up. Ooh, there's something over here. Oh, and there's something all the way back there. Hold on. And there's more here. Whoa. I do admire that they made these like things glow because I don't think we'd be able to find them. This is where we were just at. That's not even, I can't even pick that up. Bro, that's nothing. I was here celebrating. Oh shit, I found something. We found absolutely nothing. No, there is something there, though. Seemed like a pair of boots, perhaps. Oh. The mag boots. These boots might fit Khan. Once I get the feet out of them. Oh. Yeah, feet are a good sign. Means they work. All right, so I know I'm going totally opposite of the direction we're supposed to be headed and we might even actually end up coming back over here eventually yep you see i hate when i do that like i try to explore a little bit ahead of time and then i end up going to where i was gonna eventually end up going and then i start skipping shit so i'm just gonna go back and see because i don't want to miss any like sort of dialogue or anything Here we are. Finally, we have arrived. Wait, do I have to do one of these? Yes. I think this is such a cool feature. It's kind of trippy, but it's really, really cool. So we've got some focus drugs. I'm gonna take a look at them Are they first. Planning for an interrogation? Then why'd they start shooting? Hmm. Hmm. The Martian ship had focus drugs on board. Must have wanted to question someone. I hate those things. Rayon and I got busted by the MCR in once. Didn't think I'd leave that interrogation room alive. Watching that Martian's eyes go all weird. Last time we ever stole anything on Vesta, had to move to Ceres and start stealing there. Hmm. So they used those drugs for interrogation purposes. Interesting. All right, so self-propelled rounds. Okay, we're going to need this. Hopefully won't need these anytime soon. <laughs> After this week, maybe keep them close by. All right, so we're supposed to go down and under. Let's go under here, see what happens. Interesting times. So freaking creepy. I think I mentioned on the uh, last video, episode one, this somewhat reminds me of Alien Isolation. It is both, obviously, both games are in space, but. Virgil will probably appreciate these mushrooms. Okay. Oh, maybe he'll make white kibble when we get back. Cap, what do you think of Virgil? You trust him? Hmm. Not sure. I don't know what Cox was talking about in the mess hall. And Virgil doesn't seem willing to talk about it. Not willing to talk? 
are not willing to talk to Beltas. Mm. Some people don't have anything real to care about. Ooh, a coffee machine. Now we're talking. Typical Inyas. <laughs> Travel all the way out here, yet can't break free from their peppy plant extract. Hey, hey, hey. I drink coffee five times a day, all right? I know. Possibly not the greatest thing, but I'm Cuban. What do you expect? All right, so we're going to go. Should I go down and under? Let me go across real quick. Seems to be a dead end anyways. The guidance system. We'd be able to rewire this guidance system to work with our ammo. It was good enough for Earth and Mars to tear each other apart. And neither side surrendered, even after taking heavy fire. Stupid Inyas. They never know when to quit. So I think they're uh, Inyas or what? They're, they're like uh, Earthlings, right? Or is that what it is? It's crazy that I'd never heard of this show prior to this game releasing. There's the tool. Maya is always complaining about the tools in the engineering bay. Maybe an MCRM model would cheer her up. <laughs> yeah, Cap. Cheer up the Martian girl with your tool. <laughs> Pashang Fong. Hey, we've got some weapons here. I don't see why we didn't... I don't know. I would have picked all five of those and taken them back to the ship. A handsaw. I'm sure Khan will be fine, but it wouldn't hurt to check on the crew. Don't want to interrupt, but how is everything down there? The autodoc kept us on track, but Virgil had to do some of the larger incisions himself. Khan will be out for a while. When she wakes up, we'll try to attach the prosthetic and... What the... Oye, Maya. Shit. What the hell? Was that the prosthetic arm that fell on the ground? <laughs> Found some reaction mass. Whoa. Toss it to me. I will store it. <sighs> nice toss, Cap. <laughs> Woo! Boss man, you probably noticed me Baratna has been a little edgy. Yeah, I was going to say that. Ray, your brother has been an angry Pasheng Wallow since my first day on board. This is different. He's... He's got the shakes. It's the pixie dust. But he's been clean for almost a year. He takes some meds that help keep him straight, <laughs> The but, pixie dust. <laughs> but we haven't done a supply run in weeks. Yeah. Ran out of toxiperidone three days ago. Don't worry, boss man. He'll be fine. He's tough. But... Thought you should know. I'll never look at a containment vault the same again after that terrible situation with Rayan. Rayan, how's that leg doing? A little sore still, but better. Thanks again for saving it, Cap. A little sore? It should be gone entirely, unless you think we can eat it or use it as a torpedo. Because we may have to, with how low our supplies are. We'll figure something out. All right, so now we've got a side objective in which we can find some medicine for Arlen. This thing is so massive that sometimes we get so freaking lost. But we did this ship already here, like this side of the ship. So now we'll go here into the UNN where we have to go to find the reaction mass. And then we'll see if we can find those meds. We can also still go all the way back there. We came from this side. Let's keep going. See what happens. Alright, we're gonna land here. Excellent. Can I go that way? Okay, that's weird. Why would I not be able to walk through there? It's gotta be some sort of bug. Well, this is a dead end to a certain extent. I don't think I can walk through there. But there's this. Hold on. Ooh. 
So if I need to find medicine, I need to go somewhere where there's like a medical facility of sorts. Real earth whiskey. Scotch. The Cox has to settle for the belt of stuff. <laughs> Cox, I need you to tell me everything you know about this Toussaint and the Europa's Bing. They're pirates, what's to tell? Helpful as always. I'll leave you to enjoy the brig. Yeah, wait, wait. Is Kana. I mean, how is she? She'll live. No thanks to you. Or that hothead Virgil. He's the one who lunged in and made the gun go off. Which was in response to you provoking him. You seem to say that he was hiding something from us. Maybe. Let me out of here and we can talk about it. Mmm, no. <laughs> Model pennants, okay. Yeah, Earthers I don't... love their oceans. Too bad they destroyed them all. I don't like Cox. I have a feeling this game is going to put us in a predicament eventually down the line where we're going to have to choose for his aid or not, and that's going to be a tough one for sure. Ugh. And Inya say that Belta food is disgusting. But I guess we'll see once we get there. Alright, I think we're pretty much done. Oh, hold on. There's some tools here. A knife block. Maya seemed willing to help with Khan's surgery. Hope she doesn't regret that now. Maya? Status report? Fire the torpedoes! Give those sons of bitches a welcome! Or I'll throw you in the brig! <laughs> Sit down or I'll cut off the other arm! Sorry, Cap. What was that? Uh, are the pirates back? Why is Khan angry? Is that Khan? Why is she so angry? Something about bogeys on the radar? She's a little woozy from anesthesia. I hope she passes out again. <laughs> I'm gonna draw on her face. Alright, we're gonna go down here. Things are a bit easy going for now for lack of better words but as we know these games are calm and then they're chaotic things are nice and cool then shit goes crazy must be the captain very proud of his connections to the UN and brass proud partners in the belts oh there's blood Undersecretary Ehrenreich. Captain Garces. Is that Garces? Gars? Garces? I'll, I'll just call it Gars, all right? The Security Council has been advised on your situation. We are directing all El Hashem forces within range to converge on the intercept location. You will command the fleet. A fleet? I thought we were just shaking down some skinnies who flew off course. We're guarding against the possibility of Anansek stepping in. Apparently, these belters made off with some Martian tech. Oh, I get it. Is it still about the belters, or are you looking to inflict a little pain on Mars? Captain, do I need someone else for this job? Fuck no. i just like to know which direction to shoot in. I'll come and commandeer the belter ship and rub MCR's nose in it, the, uh, in it along the way. So the belters stole some tech from the MCRN. That's how this started. Then why did the UNN get involved? They figured that whatever the Belters had, it was worth taking. Of course they did. I was looking up top just in case there was like any items or possibly the meds we're looking for as well. Got a barrel here. I'll take her. Ready. Got work, Sasata. Boss Mang, I got everything hooked up to blow the door. Head back to the Laguin and check it out. Boss got Mang. It. Hopefully we'll find enough reaction mass to get out of here. Hmm. And then what? We going treasure hunting? Yeah. You think those coordinates go anywhere interesting? Hmm. 
Cox said those coordinates were valuable, but Cox started talking just to get out of the mess he made. You been near a brig lately? Since you save his ass, Owala never shuts up. When I came up here, I think we went right and we kept going to the right. But I don't know if we ever came to this side. And this might be one of the very few areas we yet still have to explore, if not the last one. Here we go. This seems some, uh, seems to be some sort of medical bay area or surgery area. I hope Khan's surgery goes well. For her sake and Virgil's. Is everything, um... Okay, she just said we've been boarded. And now she's wandering around looking for intruders. So, everything's fine. Maya? Are you afraid of the elderly woman with one arm? <laughs> Fuck off. You weren't here. You didn't see the look in her eyes when she... Wait. <sighs> hey there! Do you want to lie down for a minute? Do you want to fucking die?! <laughs> oh no. I think these are the meds right here. Got some juice here. We're running low after the past week. Any longer in the crash couch and I'll stop pissing that stuff. No, that's not it. Look at this. We've been here. Hand terminal. So now that you've received the new briefing, I want to reiterate uh, to you that the victory conditions remain the same as before. The Belter ship Le Guin must be intercepted and that the stolen tech returned to MCR in possession. Of course, still the entire fleet. When we started, it was just one cruiser. That was before the UNM began sniffing around. We do not expect engagement from El Hashem, but we do have to be ready. What are, the, my, uh, what are my orders if El Hashem does engage with the Le Guin or cuts off our intercept? Your primary objective is to detain the fugitives in the uh, and the stolen tech, but candidly. If a Hashim initiates, you will have the opportunity to respond. I wouldn't uh, waste any opportunity like that if I were you. Ooh, doggy. This mission just gets a lot more interesting. Whatever the Belters stole, the UNN and MCRN both went after it. But how did this turn into a shootout? Mars couldn't stand the loss of that tech. And the UNN couldn't resist the chance to get their hands on it. And the belt got caught in the middle again. Mm, yep. Alright, so we've got some sort of, uh, what is this, a star map. Once the inners caught up to the belters, it was over in minutes. Still nothing here, dude. This is crazy. So I think what we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and blow up the door here. Maybe, maybe the meds are in here. So maybe we're just looking in the wrong area. I guess we'll find out. Explosives are set. Good work, Kamina. Now let the whole station see what happens to traitors who sell out the OPA to the Inyas. I'm in. All right, let's see. Man, I really hope the meds are here. I just don't know if like whether you find these meds or like these side objectives, these side things that you can find. There was another one in the last episode. I don't know if it really deviates the story to, you know, like if you find it or you don't. Hmm, another blast door. Pshing. Fine, I'll get more explosives. No need. I should be able to access the lockdown controls from the bridge. All Good right, thinking, Cap. Could still find more explosives. Just in case. See, we've got another med bay, so maybe this med bay has the medicine that this guy needs. A band poster. Yalek Pashang! If there's one thing all belters can agree on, is that the moldy belters kick ass. All right, we've got another hand terminal. Uh, what does that say? Barat, bar, baratnas. Your Titania OPA family await with open arms. 
and fully loaded uh, railguns for any Sabakawalas following in your wake. Uh, the Sonoids you took from MCRN, justly of course, are going to advance our terror work here incredibly. We are on the path of having the first fully autonomous Belter land base. And that is all thanks to you, so keep burning hard. There will be plenty of rest and celebration when you get here. Du Ferry de Belte. More blood. Bro, that's a freaking uh, oxygen reader or whatever, no? Not oxygen. Uh, uh, blood pressure, a BP cuff. If Maya and Khan start fighting, there won't be any ship left to go back to. <laughs> Please tell me you're still alive. Okay. Khan and I had to trade a few punches, but we got her calm enough to attach the prosthetic. Aw, were you worried about me? Eh. A rampaging pilot on a drug-fueled hallucination? Mm -hmm. I never doubted you for a second. Goddamn right. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to find an ice pack. Alright, we've got the nav console here. That went surprisingly well. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look. They were heading toward Titania to link up with the Belta sect there. Almost made it. The Sonoids. Wouldn't let anyone get their hands on that tech. Good for them. Alright, we're gonna go up top. Top deck. Here we go. No sign of medicines, unfortunately. Uh, the comm station search. Looks like the crew tried to record a message. This message is to all Erda and Martian security forces in the area. We have received your warnings and demands. And this will be our only response. The MCRN says we have stolen their property. The UNN says we are traveling illegally in their sector. We recognize neither of your claims over us. This is our belt. Torpedoes, away! Incoming! Stand down now and let us keep our course. We will either join our OPA Baratnas on Titania, or sacrifice ourselves to your destruction. There is no other option. Belterlada, who here is prepared to die for your belt? Belterlada! 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 Yikes. You hear that? Wouldn't surrender the tech, and set their message in the only way the Inners understand. What was the message? That the Inners may control everything, but they can't control the Belt, and they'll never control Belters. Brave, Koyos. <sighs> so we still can okay, we open that up? So now we gotta go down. All right, let's get out of here. We were already in the med bay. One last peek, just in case. And this is the other door that was locked prior to that we don't need explosives for anymore because it's already open. So we've got the mess hall here. See what we can find. There's something here. Either that or we're going crazy. After I wiped the floor with doors one time, yeah. he declared that Gogo was frivolous and banned OPA from play. Typical. Alright, not too many things of interest here. Alright, let's go. Excellent. Alright, so we can blow torch that panel. We can get another reaction. I need mass. to make a hole to pass this. Okay, the so the blow torch. Here we go. Is that gonna fit through there? Cool. <laughs> Is that gonna fit? Yes. Found another barrel. Woo! Faces loaded! 
or whatever the Indians say. <laughs> <laughs> Touchdown! Woo! I've got some radiation from a nearby ship, the Manitoba. Scanner shows the engine is mostly intact. Maybe a few pellets too. Mm. Boss man, that's the far edge of the debris field. You'll be exposed. You two head back to the Artemis. Everyone stays on the ship, but be ready to pick me up on my order. Oh shit. You see, like, I, I'm sure there was probably a couple more things I could have explored there, but it just takes me out into a cutscene and then I just. Uh, I couldn't find the meds. It's like they make these things purposely difficult to find, like, they hide them very well. And I searched, man. I mean, surely, clearly, obviously, I missed something, but I searched. Sabaka, they locked us? No, it's a broadcast. But they must know we're close. Patch it over. There is no sense in running anymore. You know who I am. And I am looking forward to meeting you. Contact me to discuss the terms of your surrender. Or just sit and wait until we find you. It's only a matter of time. Shit, shit, shit! Cap, you got to get back here! Not without fuel pellets. Stupid drone is stuck. Ooh! <laughs> oh my god! Whoa. I doubt they will all be so easy to kill. Virgil, if I respond, will they be able to chase the signal? No, it will only confirm you are in broadcast range. But they seem pretty sure of that already. Put me through. Whoa. Captain Zapata, this is Kamina Drummer of the Artemis. I don't want to fight you, but keep sending your crew after me, and I'll be forced to keep killing them. Oh my gosh. Okay, are we good? Evade the pirates. Oh, they're gone. <laughs> oh my god, that's nerve wracking, bro. Alright. Got to find a way out of here first before I do anything crazy. Okay, good. If any of this touches us, we're freaking dead. You're a long way from Siri Station, Kamina Drama. You've heard of me? I've heard of your work and your bounty. Mm. But if I'm speaking to you, what happened to Garrison Cox? <laughs> he attempted to double his profits. As a result, I am now captain. <laughs> Not surprising. There's no loyalty among scavengers. Not that the OPA is any better. You must be <laughs> in the company of miscreants. I saw your handiwork on the Urshanabi. At least my crew are not murderers. Don't tell me Kamina Drama weeps for the lives of UNN soldiers. You don't fight for the belt. You only care about yourself. And apparently the UNN has barely touched you. So what was their crime? Foolishness. And the opportunity to send them in. One you would do well to receive. You're out of your element and your depths, Captain. No shame in surrendering a battle you didn't ask for. Hmm. 
All right, so. We're back here now. There seems to be something over there. Actually, there's nothing. It's just nothing but a distraction. And through here? Perfect. Oh, this is cool, man. Oh, fuck! She's over here! Oh! I was just scratching my nose, asshole. I wish we would, we'd be able to actually fight them, like, you know, shoot them and aim. It's a telltale game. It's more, it's more of a storytelling. Obviously, I do appreciate the QTEs. That's always cool. But we almost died. Pirates are on the loose. Unfortunately, they're messing with the crazy lady that gives no fucks. Let me go up here. Sorry, I had to watch my vocabulary just in case. Wait, where am I now? I've just completely discombobulated myself. <laughs> what the? Uh, bro, I just disoriented myself so badly. There we go. Sheesh. You can always retreat, Toussaint. Protect the rest of your crew. Your reputation is well earned, Captain Drummer. Daniel and Yuri were, they were two of my best. But their needless deaths do not change. Enough. I've had a very long week in a crash couch because of you. Either fall back or keep sending your men to die. Those are your options. Hmm. New mission log unlocked. Evade the pirates. So we have here the solenoid analysis. Mars was running an analysis on the solenoid technology that the Belters stole. Uh, why would they be attempting to reverse engineer their own design? Maybe the Belters on board at the Le Guin weren't thieves. Maybe they were engineers, contractors who created a technology that they knew they would never profit from and the belts could never afford. They tried to share their work with the people who needed it most and they were killed for it. Hmm. All right, so we came. Well, I don't even think I need to do that. I think I could just do this. Which is even more trippy. Did you go there? <laughs> Yo, relax. Right, which way do I go? There's no way I can go in there. Should I just drop down here? I think so. And then go back around? Yes. Okay. That's exactly it. Perfect. Tell me this thing has ammo. I'm on my way. No! Everyone stay back! What's happening? Why are the pirates pulling away? There are always more options, Captain. I'll have the coordinates. Even if I have to comb through rubble to find them. Goodbye. You're bluffing. Hello? Toussaint! 
Come on. Gotta be some ammo left. PDC delivery. Whoa. Sabaka! Are you crazy? You could get killed. So could you. Now step back and let me do my job. I don't know what the fuck you two are doing, but I'm approaching your location on control thrusters for whenever we shut off. Glad you're back at your post. Bro, that's, that ship is massive. With that big skull there is like creepy as hell. What are you waiting for? We only get one shot before they go off position. I believe celebrations are in order. Hmm. I'm still bummed I did not find the medicine. I'm like going crazy over that. Coordinates are set for the MK core. Time to see what all the fucking fuss is about. With the fuel you found, we should have no problem getting there and back to Ganymede, at least. And how is the new... prosthetic? It'll do. Get some rest, Captain. Mm -hmm. No telling what we'll find at those coordinates. That's pretty cool. Being captain isn't all fun and torpedoes. Sometimes it means having to talk to Khan. Hey, Khan. Resting. Go away. Any guesses on our destination? Nada. All I know is that it's far the fuck out there. So ever hid that treasure, wanted it far the fuck away. Why do you gotta curse every three other words? I mean, I curse a lot. But damn, like, you're taking it overboard here, Grandma. 
Can you believe how vicious these pirates are? Yes. I mean, how they were willing to blow us up just to prove a point. Yes. So you don't think there's anything special about them? Yes, I do. They seem to have more guns. Mm. Good talking to you, Khan. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay. So give Virgil the mushroom powder. Okay, well that's good. Right? Command console. So this is for the briefing and mission briefing. Drummer's log. The Urshanabi is a brand new wreck. Crox's intel is good. The United Nations will likely send another ship to investigate the loss of one of their navy. They could take weeks. Cox is overconfident as always. No, we've already. Talk to Virgil, talk to Maya. Yeah. Let's go speak to Maya first. Nothing else here. I like when we're here in the uh in the ship, just cruising around. I like it. It's it's freaking cool. It's been a rough week. I should check in with the crew and see how everyone's doing. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Alright, so first is first. I think this is uh over there, that's Virgil for the mushrooms. This is Cox. Speak to Cox. Where is this punk? Read. Flota. Cox was even more unhinged than I imagined. Daily affirmations. You're the captain of the Artemis in rank and title. And this bestows upon your tremendous and fearsome power. You are the arbiter of justice, of wealth, of accolades, and personal accommoda accommodations. Treasured by your crew, you are not a baby dick kibbled head. Khan has never seen you naked, and therefore you cannot judge. Your, therefore, she cannot judge your manhood, which is in fact adequate. Your crew respects and fears you, even Dromer. Khan's insults are a sign of respect. Arlen and Ra Rayan are not uh, plotting to overthrow you. The Martian is sexually attracted to you, and you have chosen not to pursue her due to your sense of discipline. You will. <laughs> Which is soon to be rewarded with tremendous wealth. You will have tremendous wealth. Ah, oh, who doubted you will cry. Your drinking is not a problem. <laughs> hmm. Scar, Jay. Circumstances have changed a lot since I last saw this bottle. I don't want to take Cox it. Cox won't be coming out of his cell for a long time. Might as well give him some company. Hmm. Sounds like a good idea. More dialogue. Why not? Alright. Where is he? Where's his cell? It's on the other side right now. Okay, so this is just his room. What are these? Decryption keys? Pushing voila! I knew Cox was paranoid, but spying on his crew? Whoa. Wow, personal data of the crew. And then it has all of our names what are there. These? Decryption keys? You see a Maya, Pushing Khan, Lola. drummer. I knew Cox was paranoid, but spying on his crew? That's probably what it was. It's just so insecure. <sighs> New Artemis log. So Khan, not Cox, is it this ship registration? So Khan, not Cox, is the owner of the Artemis. No wonder the records are spotty. Khan loves flying, but she doesn't seem like she has the patience for paperwork. Khan's relationship with Cox makes a lot more sense now. Cox never put up with anyone's disrespect, but he always gave Khan a wide berth. This arrangement gave him a solid ship and a talented pilot, and Khan got somehow, uh, somewhat to handle all of the boring logistics and let her do what she loves best, which is flying and swear at people. Okay, so maybe she swears a lot because that's in her nature. All right, you know, I'll, I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. 
Let's get out of here. I'm gonna take the uh, scotch and see where this cocks sucker is. Let's go down here. This is the crew deck. I think this is where um where he is alongside everybody else. Let's go down below here. Dead end. Oh, here he is. Airlock. No, he's not in the airlock. I'm gonna give Virgil the mushrooms. It's a side. It's a side objective. If I do the main objective, then everything's gonna go to crap. So yes, I'm gonna go here first. Say what you will about Virgil, but he takes his job as ship's medic very seriously. Garrison Cox, 60 place of birth is Earth. Prior health issues, hypertension. Current health issues, hypertension, uh, hepatic as, uh, steatosis, I've discussed alcohol intake, uh, medications, ACE, inhibitors, and blood pressure. Notes currently incarcerated in Brig. Repeatedly requests alcohol for medical reasons. <laughs> he's a raging alcoholic. The one thing I know about Virgil is that he's an excellent doctor. Hmm. The rest is a mystery. These are the prosthetics. At least we've only had one limb replacement so far. You're welcome, Rayan. Hmm. All right, let's go in here. Cox said Virgil was hiding something. Let's find out. Hmm. Virgil's private computer. Must be something here. Never thought I'd be thankful for Cox's snooping, but that encryption key I found in his office should work. Ah. Data cube. Alright, so. Enter password. So do I have to... Do I have to go f remember the password? Or could we just Apparently put, there there's we go. a lot Virgil hasn't shared about his past. Like his time as a UNN soldier. Here's your new identi uh, identity. Attached are government ID, passport, birth certificates, and a UN ID card. They should pass all docking and customs inspections. Just try not to be too much, uh, bring too much scrutiny on yourself, and you'll be fine. If you want to change your face, I know a surgeon on arrows who doesn't ask too many questions. For now, this should be enough to get you off, Lu uh, off Luna. If you haven't gotten rid of everything from your old life, do it now. Don't be sentimental. If anything can tie you uh, can tie you to your past, put it in the recycler. Pleasure doing business with you. Good luck out there, Thorsten. So Virgil's not even Virgil. Whatever he's hiding, it was enough to make him change his entire identity. Look at the date of birth, dude. 2296. That's crazy. Warrants of arrest to any officer of law enforcement. You are hereby commanded to arrest Thorsten Mayer and bring them before the court without delay for the accused crime of desertion of an armed forces per, uh, pursuant to 10 UNN code sec 885 art 85. Thorsten, it's official. I'm attaching a copy of uh, the warrant. As you haven't responded to my last three messages, I assume you're no longer interested in retaining the services. I stand by what I said before. You were under an incredible strain, which the court would likely take into account. But I cannot defend you against a desertion charge if you're still on the run. I can only advise, again, that you return to Luna. You are a brilliant surgeon, and this does not have to define your career. Please think about your future and get in touch. Sincerely, Miranda Sand uh, Sandovo, Chase Taylor, Attorneys of Law. Ooh, so this guy's been on the run. Not only did Virgil hide his UNN service and his real name, he's Thorsten. also wanted by his own government for desertion. Hmm. I should try to get more information from him. All right, so now things are starting to open up here. Once we go give him the mushroom, we should be able to get more info. Looks like Virgil has some anxiety from his past. Glad to see he is managing it. Trigger, docked on Luna for supply symptoms. HR-138, sweating, shortness of breath, techniques used, meditation, mid-sedative in the evening, nightmares, operating on patient whose body was suddenly frozen solid and covered in ice crystals. Hmm. I 
Very interesting. A cookbook. For an inner. He does make an excellent red kibble. The red kibble, a filling and nutritious meal that doesn't sacrifice a flavor. The variation makes us uh, makes use of the flour available on the uh, Ganymede. But people living outside of the belt's bread basket can substitute protein or dairy. And I think we've got enough info on him. Hold on. Tanabe textbook. Virgil grew up on Luna, but he's not like some in this. He actually thinks of Beltas as people. No shit. So the Earthers are like us on the left, and you've got the Martian, who's slightly bigger, as you can see, and then you've got the Belters. Hmm. That's crazy. That's pretty cool. So chapter six, treating citizens of the asteroid belt. The asteroid belt takes a heavy toll on its residents. Generations of living in low gravity can lead to the general increase of uh, in height and cranium size among belters without medical intervention to increase bone density. However, belter bodies are more uh, resilient to the high G burns needed to traverse the solar system. Physicians in the belt face many challenges, but also gain a unique insight into the adaptabil adaptability of the human body. All right, let's get out of here. Interesting. We're getting more info about characters and their backstory and who they really are. This Virgil guy or Thorsten seems to be quite the interesting individual. Let's go over here and confront him. Well, he's not here, is he? He's on the other side. Let's talk to the crew here. These guys are True knocked belters out. Take water, air, and sleep wherever they can find them. Say anything else about these two, but they are true belters. Mm -hmm. I guess we can't talk to them. Just checking up on them. All right. Virgil. Maya and Virgil learned a lot of Lang Belta swear words in the past week. Khan seems to already know them all. Oh, cool. Oh yeah. Hello. Oh yeah, that's like Spanish. Oh yeah. I said it again. Oh yeah, ding. Goodbye. A foot a good, please. Taki taki. Thank you. I'm donating. You're welcome. Okay, I'm done. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. You've got some explaining to do, Thorsten. What's on your mind, Captain? You served in the UNN. As a medic, yes. It was the only way I could afford medical school on Luna. Sorry. Hmm. Why did you desert? Because I was finding it harder and harder to live with myself. Being stationed in the belt, I was surrounded by people in desperate need of my help. But because of the badge on my chest and the gun on my back, I was their enemy. One day, it became too much to bear. Did you do something? No, I never hurt anyone. I never raised my gun, not once. But what I saw taught me that there were two sides and I was on the wrong one. I'm sorry, Captain. I hope that my actions on this ship can offer some amends for my past. Hmm. Why should I trust you? Because I sacrificed everything I have to get away from my past and start a new life here in the belt. I understand. But if there's anything else I need to know, I expect you to tell me. Of course. Thank you. I found some mushroom powder for you to cook with. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
bursting with umami. He's the medic and the cook. Shit. <laughs> Can't lose this man. Exceptional. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Get some rest, Virgil. Captain, is my UNN past going to be a problem for us? You were stationed in the belt. That means you were occupying my home. I know. The way I see it, you're wanted by the UNN for desertion. Mm. I'm wanted for fighting them. Sounds like we're both on the same side. I feel like that's a good answer. Thank you, Captain. Mm. Alright, let's go give Cox the uh, scotch. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the damn meds, so I couldn't give it to the to this guy here, but Oh, we've got to go under. Lower and lower. All right, there's Maya. Where's this guy at? Cox doesn't seem too bothered by his emotion. Hmm. Cox. He's still bleeding. Are you here to let me out? <laughs> then kindly fuck off, Captain. Hey, Cox. Catch. This guy. Yo, chill, bro. <laughs> that ain't water, man. <laughs> wow. The word you're looking for is thanks. Yeah, yeah. Alright, well, I guess... I guess that's it. Happy to let Cox drink himself into a stupor. Should make him less of a pain in the ass if I ever need to deal with him. That's why I said he'll remember that. The water storage. Rain's leg causes a lot of supplies, but the lack of water is concerning. We'll need a plan to restock and soon. The water logs show regular intakes that have diminished significantly in recent years, meaning that the Artemis once had a large crew. Years of Cox's empty promises must have driven most of them away. If only they'd stuck around around for the MK core. Although they might have been warned up uh, clinging to the hole along with me. Okay. screen honestly i'm glad maya finally got one this was starting to get sad <laughs> what is this music player what are you listening to it's martian music you wouldn't like it i'll decide what i like and don't like oh spicy Considering it's Martian music, I don't think we have to worry about copyright strikes. Well? It's a beautiful song. My mom used to play it for us on the guitar. 
Half the time she'd break down crying and not even finish it. It reminded her of my dad. It's funny. I hate my dad. I hate the army he died for. And I hate Mars. But I still miss it. Khan's arm. Thank you. Khan seemed pleased with her prosthetic. That's good. Although you realize we just took the most unhinged person on the ship and gave her a bionic skull crusher for an arm. <laughs> I think if Khan wanted to kill someone, she could do it without arms or legs. What you did in the debris field was incredibly reckless. You disobeyed my order, and you put the whole- Oh my god. You're fucking welcome. I was getting to that. Thank you. <laughs> Anytime. I'll leave you to it then. Wait. Um. About that moment in the airlock. Yes. Are you feeling any better? I know you were pretty scared, given how tightly you were holding my hand. I'm pretty sure you grabbed my hand in there. Oh, sure. We can go with that if you want. I'm just saying, I'm here if you need to talk. The only thing we need to talk about is your delusion of fantasizing about me. I get it. It must be hard for the boss Meng to express her feelings. <laughs> Especially to the hot Martian engineer who can totally kick your ass. Not according to that scoreboard. My point is, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Hmm. Even if you did clink helmets with me. Clink helmets? Hmm. What is that supposed to mean? I think you know exactly what it means. Helmet clinker. <laughs> Trying to kiss. Oh god. Alright, let's just spice shit up here a little bit, alright? Typical dumb Martian. You try to kiss a woman, but forget to take your helmet off first. If I did try to kiss you, there'd be no fucking confusion about it. You know, we could stand here talking about hands and helmets all night. Or we could go back to my room and... Settle it. Whoa, whoa, what do you mean? Like, chill. That's heavy duty. That's, that's a big word right there. I don't know. I'm, I might get in trouble for that. I'm confused. <laughs> Are you still trying to fight me? Either way, someone will definitely be getting slammed against a wall. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. She's like, wow. she just left speechless. Honestly, I'm glad Maya finally got one. This was starting to get mm -hmm. sad. All right, where else do we have to go now? Get some well-deserved rest. Oh, you know what happens when you get rest. Nothing good happens. If I sleep with Maya, the entire crew will know about it. Nothing stays secret on a ship like this. Is one night worth all the drama? Hmm. No, we gotta keep our composure right now. We've gotta we've gotta keep our composure.
I feel like that's really, really just gonna. Oh, yo. yo. <laughs> it's like, look at this truth. Do you wanna bang? Do you not wanna bang? Do you wanna bang? Do you not wanna bang? It's like, what? What is this? I'm gonna go to my room, bro. <sighs> I'm just gonna go to my room. I wanna be responsible. I'm a responsible captain. I'm not here for shenanigans. Go to sleep, Captain. Hush, Shang. Are you watching me? <laughs> no. Now sleep. That's not good. What the hell? There's nothing on the map. No record of any settlements. So what the fuck is that? I have to say, I'm, I'm really enjoying this game. I like where it's going. I, I, I also wonder what would have happened if we would have slept with Maya. Uh, con surgery. This is not for, this is for hunting grounds. Drummer did not find the laser crystal. Hmm. That's from the other, that's from this episode? Drummer told Arlen and Ryan, uh, she wasn't sure about Virgil. Well, I wasn't sure. I think that's the right choice, to be honest. Uh, drummer heard the whole story of con surgery. Let me see how many people. Drummer spent the night in her own quarters. 87% of you are freaks. <laughs> you are not responsible captains. All right, so there it is. I don't know. I, I, I don't... That was a very impactful choice. I probably, any other day, I would have... I would have probably gone with the uh, Maya choice, but I don't know how that's going to affect us later on or if it's just going to directly inf uh, affect um, Maya and, and Drummer's relationship, which I don't think so. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I guess we'll see on episode three. But um, that's been Hunting Grounds. That was really, really good. Um, I'm just happy to be playing some Telltale games, be able to relax and just enjoy a narrative experience. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. As always, if you did, drop it a like. Thanks for watching. And uh, for once, we were responsible, right? Every other time we've had the choice, I've always been crazy with it. We've been a little naughty. Today, we were responsible captains. And um, I'm kind of proud of myself. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys on episode three. It releases in two weeks. And I'll catch you guys later.